Hi ladies and gentlemen, welcome back again and thank you for joining me. But if you are new here, hi, welcome. My name is Lillian and in this video, we are going to talk about the latest information that I got from a Cameroonian who lives in Cameroon regarding to Mercy Johnson's Cameroonian version, mother version, version of mother. Please, I'm not trying to be disrespectful. I'm just confused. I don't know what to say. <laughs> okay, the Cameroonian version of Mama Messi. <laughs> Only one Messi, three Mama. When some people are looking for one Mama, then who gets? Messi get three. Three old Mama. <laughs> Isn't she lucky? So the part that is funny, I'll laugh. I'm not laughing at anybody, okay? I'm just um finding it funny because yeah what is that if they even say your father is different because you'd be like eh, but how can someone get pregnant it can only be one among these three women that is my his that is actually her mother so but i don't get it so <laughs> it's all good so let's talk about uh the information i'm getting from cameroon so i've dropped the video here talking about um the cameroonian mama of mercy and um all that all my confusion and me wishing that mercy comes true for a dna test so that the woman can get her answers if she is the mother or not the mother so she can look elsewhere for her children or for her child so when i made that video talking about that somebody from cameroon left me a comment and the comment reads like this hello lillian thank you for talking about this and i just want to inform you that we from cameroon so please my mobile phone is there okay i'm reading from my brain i can remember some of the things in that comment um i wanted to know that we from cameroon uh come from the community very close to where that woman is from and her story is true is very true we know her she's not lying so because mercy is trying to is telling her to sponsor for the dna test and she, she cannot afford it uh, the community we have come together to raise money for her so that she can go for the DNA, she can pay for the DNA test with Mercy Johnson to ascertain if Mercy, so that Mercy can answer her because the person saying strongly believe that she is mother of Mercy. Oh, okay. So you guys are raising funds for her. I'm not surprised. So you see, I've not lived in Cameroon or really seen videos from Cameroon by non Cameroonians because sometimes the best person to tell you about a place or people. The, be the best person to tell about a place and people is a foreigner so but me i've not really seen foreigners in cameroon making videos sharing their experiences in cameroon so i don't know much about that but the cameroons that i know here on youtube are incredible i know a cameroonian that vlogs in cameroon i mean two of them that makes videos from cameroon messi dari and maris kimbi that vlogs from cameroon but i don't i'm not looking at cameroon from their eye so me i want to look at cameroon from my own experience with many cameroonians especially that I met here on youtube how kind they have been and how kind they are so if that lady said they are raising fun i won't be surprised it may be very true it can be true they are raising funds for the woman to go for a dna test but me oh i have something to say oh. my sisters are my brothers please don't get mad see um them <laughs> mercy not going for a dna coming up with to tell the woman to go bring money for the dna test do you think she doesn't want do you think she doesn't have money to pay for the dna or what Tell me what you're thinking. Me, I'm thinking. It's my thinking, oh. Okay, so you can think your own. This is my own version of thinking. Yeah. So I think strongly believe, I strongly believe that she's doing that to discourage the woman from pushing further to get the DNA test done. She just want to use that money to say, please, uh, you know now, uh, uh, bring the money. And she knows very well that the woman will not have that money. So that's why she brought that. It's not like she cannot afford it. Mercy has a good giving spirit because we have seen here in the past on social media, we have seen in, in the past and recent times here on social media where people have, you know, sang praises of Mercy Johnson giving spirit. So, and 
if she wants to do that DNA test, if that's the only reason she's not doing, if it's just because of the money to pay, uh, Mercy would have done it. I think it's beyond that. Okay, she don't want to do the test. She just used the money because she knows the woman cannot afford it truly. So she just used that to chase the woman away. So now if you guys are raising money for the woman, when she comes back to Lagos, Nigeria, hmm, to meet Mercy for the DNA, Mercy will find another excuse, okay, to not do the test. All of us, me and you, we don't know what is happening, why, what she's hiding. I don't, I don't know if the social media reporters are saying the truth. If truly the woman have gone there and Mercy told her that, which is strange. I don't know how uh, someone will see someone and say, yeah, go and bring a DNA, uh, go and bring money for a DNA. Someone like Mercy, I strongly, sorry, oh, don't believe, okay? I strongly don't believe that. So, but in case she have said that, it simply means she don't want to do the test. So if you guys raise money for the woman, they still won't do the test. She'll find another excuse not to do it. So my advice, if you guys can raise money for the woman, it's a good thing. What are we community members for? What are we family for? What are we country men and women for? What are we human being for? First and foremost, human being for. So if you guys believe in a story you buy the story you know you are witnessing you are witness to that story and you want her to get justice and you want to raise money don't stop just by raising that money follow her to nigeria give her one or two persons to go with her to nigeria i know it's expensive okay but there's a way you can travel within africa to make it cheaper for you for those of us that can bear the stress you go by road it will save you a lot of money from any part of cameroon to lagos nigeria uh is not far on here but it's expensive but that same trip you can go by road go to ecom you know my part of nigeria from there all you need is your passport i mean do cameroon have pass as pass cameroon is not part of ECOWAS, right yeah but this kind of situation you know how to travel you have your travel papers right so you donate money for them to go at least give her people that or, or if you don't give her people to go with her it's fine eh? because the people that will go with her may still not as be able to may still not be able to influence mercy to agree to a dna test so what you guys should do is get someone an influential person in nigeria that can talk to mercy maybe a journalist okay maybe a journalist there are a lot of journalists eh, in nigeria that can talk to mercy or just go on social media contact stella demoko let her pass across to St stella stella will want to you know get all the facts once she gets it she will message mercy she'll pick it up from there so you can use her stella uh name is stella Dimoko Kakos or uh, Stella can help. Okay. So instead of just raising money for her, she still go there, they would drivel her. So the best thing is reach out to a journalist in Nigeria. For me, I highly recommend either Linda IKJ or you reach out to Stella Dimoko Kakos. Why I'm saying Stella Dimoko is because Stella. Stella had been around for a very long time. When I was a young girl in the days of City People magazine, I used to buy every copy. I would rather read that than read my books. So Stella had been doing, she's an investigative journalist. Okay. She's an investigative journalist and she's very good with these things. So she is very influential. She has access to all of them, the celebrities you're looking at. So use Stella Demacos, uh, Demas, Stella Dimoko. Kako, skakos. Hey, these are my pronunciation. So that is the best way to go about it. But if you just raise money for her to go and get Mercy to do the DNA test, she may still turn her down. She will bring another excuse to make it not happen. So if you guys truly, honestly, which I appreciate that you guys are helping her, you should get it to that part if you are uh, no you'll be here on my channel you see this video so contact stella dimoko she's a nigerian and she does not live in nigeria but she's everywhere okay she's very powerful so contact stella dimoko and let stella pick it up from there for you guys so that mercy will respond to the woman for a dna test i don't know why somebody if you're not sure of if for me, if 
too many stories. You don't do too much. Hmm? For some of for some of us that didn't grow up with our biological fathers, hmm, it just came from nowhere. Apart from the gist that village people were gisting me that yeah, so so and so person is my father, not the one I think is my father that is my father. So, and then that one came, no DNA test because I look a lot like him. It's not enough for oh, hmm? you know. But do you think? Don't you think that if another person come again to say he's my father, eh? Do you think I will? I will do a DNA test. I know it's time to do a DNA test. Okay. So I don't know how Mercy was raised. Okay. Some people were raised with so much love. Some were raised to be afraid. I don't know. But I feel like if she was adopted and um, I don't really know what to think. Some people are saying, in fact, so um, the best thing is just um, for her not to want to do a DNA test, then... You can't force her to do it, but you can try to get a journalist to get her to react. And the best journalist for that is Linda Ikeche or Stella Dimoko Kakos. Stella Dimoko, highly, highly recommended. Don't say I tell you. Don't come for me. Okay? I hope you liked this video. All right, so I'm ending it here. I beg, if there's any up updates... Please legitimate one. Let me know. I don't want to be doing all this mushroom blogging where people are saying things they don't know. Hey, Mercy, I've gone to Cameroon to do the DNA, all those things. I don't, except if it is. So, but I don't know why this Cameroon story is told in the dark. You guys should do something. Go and investigate, okay? Don't leave the woman's story in the dark, okay? All right. So, thank you for watching this video. I will see you in my next one. Signing out. Bye.